Welcome to Watercolor Lessons with Kathy. I'm Kathy Nichols, and I'm a lifelong artist, painter, and teacher. I help students of all ages tap into their creativity with watercolor. Watercolor is a great way to express yourself, and it's easy to get started and fun to do. I hope you join me to learn how to paint with watercolor. I can't wait to see your paintings. Welcome to the next lesson in our bird series. Today, we'll paint a pileated woodpecker. Their striking colors and markings make them fun to paint. We'll use four brushes, six paints, and seven techniques. One of the techniques is to use a template to get the proper proportions of the subject. It's easy to do. I found a photo of a pileated woodpecker online and printed it out. Then I trace the outline onto tracing paper and cut it out. See how I used it in today's lesson. Be sure to check below for useful information and links. Let's paint! Take your spray bottle and wet your pans of paint here. Loosen them up. Spray some water in your palette. Now, in this painting that we're doing today, we made a template of the woodpecker, pileated woodpecker. Now, so go ahead and make your template and then place it on the paper. Now first, we will be painting a faint line of where the tree, tree line is. And the back of the feathers on the bird touch the tree. So I'm placing my template on my paper to know where to draw my tree line. Take your round with pointed tip brush wet it, load it with some ochre, leave your template on your paper position and then draw the tree line. Like so. And then just still leave your template on your paper and then take your liner and outline your template with the ochre. Load your brush. like so, and then lift your template up. Okay. Take your liner and we will start with the head on the woodpecker. So 
So there's a little gray on the beak. Take your liner brush and load it with burnt umber and ultramarine blue to make a darker color. Now my outline, it's not, the beak is not so pointed. So I'm staying a little bit in that line. Now it's a little dark to start with, but we can fix that. Cleaning my brush so that it's just mainly water. And spreading the paint that I just put down. Like so. It's a little dark right there, so I'm going to dab it so it's not quite as dark. Okay, make that a little more pointy, like so. Now the, the eye is a circle, and when you look at the bird, the bird is wearing a mask. So take some of that dark mixture with your liner brush and start a little above the beak and paint kind of an oval type of shape like that. Now in that oval type of shape is the eye. So you want to leave a circle in the middle. Like so. Now, it's a little bit light, but I'm going to go back and darken it a little bit later. Sometimes you want things to have a chance to dry. So let's work on the nice red head that it has on the crest here. So there's a little spot on the beak of the red. So take some, load your liner with cadmium red and a touch of crimson. The cadmium red alone is just too much of an orange color. We just need a tad of crimson to turn it more of a red. And let's start now, by the mask there's a white area, but there is a touch of the red above. And then bring it out onto the crest. It touches a little bit of the mask there, and leave some white space there. And it goes a little bit further down on the neck, like that, like so. Now, that looks still a little bit orange, so I'm going to add a touch of more crimson in that. It helps a little bit. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And touch it up later. Now on the beak there's a touch of red. Like so. 
Don't want it to go out so much, so I'm gonna wet my brush and lift some of the red. I don't want it to go that far. And then blot it a little bit. Okay. Now let's start a little further down. And below the beak, there's a little fuzzy kind of white feathers. So we're not going to add any color there, but the darkness starts on the neck down to the breast. So load your liner with ultramarine blue in the umber again. And you can start fairly strong. And then if you need to darken it, you can go back. And then it just goes up a little bit towards the beak there. And then you will want to keep some white there on the neck and bring the color down on the breast here. Now I didn't add the feet because that will be the last part of the painting that I'll do and I'll be doing it with a Sharpie. And then right about here is a curve of the wing. So you want to start putting some of that color there. And then load your brush as needed. So the wing curves around. And there's, I'm leaving some white spot to show definition between the feathers. And carry it down here. Loading my brush more. Now the feathers down here, they actually touch the tree. So let it come down to the tree line there. Again, I'm leaving some white spaces, definition of feathers. Like so. Now, there is some of that color on the neck there. So, the, so you want to take your mixture of your burnt umber and ultramarine blue. And it starts at where the red is right here a little bit. Like so. It's a little too blue. And 
and carry the color down on the wing there. Now it's time to stop and give it a good dry. Take your liner brush, clean it, test if it's clean, you can do that on your paper towel, and take your brush with cadmium yellow here and fill in that circle. Stop and dry it. You can touch it to see if it's dry enough, and apparently it is not. So I need another dryer. Take your liner brush and load it with burnt umber and the ultramarine mixture. And put a dot in the middle. Now we're going to darken the mask so it's a little bit too light. Like so. Now, 
Now that some of the color is dry on the wing and the breast, let's add a little more of the darkness to give it another coat of color here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So now let's turn our attention to work on the tree. Take your mop brush and load it with ochre. So you want to start with a base color, and ochre is going to be the base color. I'm leaving some white spots, just randomly. Like so. Then stop and give it a good dry. Take your mop brush and load with burnt sienna. You might want to start at the bottom of the tree and work your way up and just spread that color around. Take your mop brush and load it with burnt umber and the paint is still wet and I want to spread it where some of the wet burnt sienna is. And what's sometimes fun, when the paint is wet, you can't really predict where it's going to spread, and it just will have a mind of its own. 
And sometimes you'll like how it goes and sometimes you don't. But again, you can reactivate it with water and change it if you want to. Okay. Clean your mop brush. Now let's work on the background here, which is going to be sky. So load your brush with an intense blue. And I'm starting here on the edge. And you got to be careful when you're coming towards the bird. And I'm going to switch my brush when I get close to the bird. But right now, just load your brush with intense blue and start at the edge. And I'm going to spread it towards the tree. Now that it's getting close to the bird, I'm switch your brush to the round with pointed tip. And then you'll have more control. So when you come close to the bird, you don't mess the bird up. Now on this part here, below the beak, there, there is a little bit fluffy feathers, I noticed, when I studied my photograph of the bird. And so I don't want to go super close there and just kind of leave a little bit of a line out like that. Now you can see a little bit of my outline, but I'm going to take some water and make it disappear. I noticed that some of the paint ran there and I'm just going to dab it so the color, the brown is not there and there's some water lines and I don't like that so do a little dabbing. Okay. I'm going to stop and give it a good dry before I continue.
Okay. Now that it's dry, I will be adding some darkness. You can tell, like right here, I want to get some of that, how dark that color is onto the wing and the breast. And I'm using my round with pointed tip brush. And the mixture is with the burnt umber in the ultramarine blue. Okay. Now I notice the tree looks a little bit flat to me. So you can take your round with pointed tip brush with the color of the burnt umber in ultramarine blue and put some little dark spots and even like a shadow of the bird. Just a little bit on the tree. You don't need much. You don't want to add too much. Just a touch. Like so. You just kind of see he's, the bird is casting a little bit of a shadow. Okay, now for the last part, to add the legs. So you don't see much of the legs. But before we do that, we need to give it another good dry.
So I have a Sharpie here. It's just, you know, one you can get at Fred Meyer's Walmart all over the place. And I've, I find that it's helpful to use on maybe some very fine features on watercolor. Um, so that's what I'm going to use instead of my liner for this. Now, the, the feet on the bird Just kind of bringing my template here to get visualize. And so here is the bird's breast. And the feet are a little lower than the breast, so they're about right here. And they are holding on to that. So I'm going to slant it that way and just, so there's one and then put the other one there too. But first I'm going to work on this one. So I'm referring to my model. And the other one I will put by it in the same slant. And then it has the Pendages that come out like so. Now, I want to add a little darkness there. It's a little light. So with that, I will take my liner brush and load your liner brush with burnt umber. And this is just the straight burnt umber. And put a little bit where the feet are and a little past it to give it some contrast and depth. Maybe a little bit below the tail here, like that. Then take a moment to step back Pause. I like my little woodpecker pecking on the tree. I really enjoyed doing this lesson with you and I hope you enjoyed it too. I enjoyed painting with you today, and I hope you enjoyed it too. To send me photos of your creations, email them to the address in the description. To be notified when there's a new lesson, be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, and hit like. Please join me next time when we'll paint a hovering hummingbird. Take care, be safe, and see you soon.